Hey guys, so if French sci-fi writer Jules Verne were told about the fantastic capabilities of modern submarines, he would cry alligator tears from envy. So in our time, submarines are entire cities capable of operating autonomously for months at a time, far away from others. Now, the history of the idea to create a submarine comes from the Renaissance era and from Leonardo da Vinci, although he was never a soldier. This machine's main advantage, according to him, was primarily stealth. That is still a main attractive factor for submarines as weapons today. The genius thought of a submarine during his life, get this, in 1550. While his boat didn't submerge completely and wasn't designed to sink enemy ships nearby, just like Captain Nemo in his Nautilus, we don't know if Leonardo's submarine was finished. It probably wasn't. Now, modern submarines are one of the most advanced types of weapons. Additionally, these toys are complex in their design and unbelievably expensive. This is evidenced by the fact that only a few countries have them, and those are primarily the US, the UK, Russia, France, and China. Now, the most dangerous and deadly of them are strategic submarines that carry long-range nuclear weapons on board, of course. We're going to talk about the most advanced submarines that are called to track, and in case of a war, which are capable of destroying enemy submarines hidden in the world ocean. So, let's look at the newest and most advanced attack nuclear submarines of our time that can detect enemies at distances of up to 3,100 miles away. Yasin, Russia. Submarine Project 885 Yasin, Ash in Russian. This is a fourth gen multi role nuclear submarine with winged missiles. They are analogous to the American Virginia submarine. Russian sailors say their ship is better, but that's just their opinion. They are designed to search and track strategic missile submarines. Additionally, they can destroy surface ships and carry out missile strikes on coasts. Now, their hull's material is made out of a special, low-grade magnetic steel. It also has a rubber covering over the entire hull. The submarine is considered lowly visible for anti-ship and aircraft sonar. It's almost silent in the water, like a falling ash leaf in the wind. It's possible that's where the name comes from. Another key detail is that the submarine's nose has no torpedo launchers. The front part is made to place a large spherical antenna for the sonar complex. There are five torpedoes located in the central part of the hull, behind the central bridge on board. The submarine carries a total of 30 533 caliber torpedoes that have launch tubes at an angle. It's clear that attacking an enemy crew at an angle and unexpectedly is always an example of Russia's victory tactics. Its main weapon is a vertically launched winged missile. The submarine has eight launched platforms with four P-800 Onyx missiles each. They can also use the 3M-14 caliber and 3M-54 Biruza missiles. The 460-foot boat is built using a single-shaft configuration and is equipped with a seven-blade quiet rotor that has a sword-like blade. It also uses a quiet hydraulic propeller that has four lateral thrusting propellers and bow-driving planes with flaps, which are most likely mobile. Its submerged speeds are twice as fast as its surface water speeds. They are 35 and 18 miles per hour, respectively. The engine, like all the onboard systems, is fed by a 200 megawatt fourth gen nuclear power generator. It can submerge to depths of 2,000 feet. Now, the submarine's designers took care of every crew member's safety. The crew is made of 90 people who, in case of danger and an inability to fight for survival, can abandon the ship in separate rescue capsules that are in the bow. It can be at sea for an advertised 100 days. The Severodovsk submarine was commissioned by the Russian Navy in December 2013. 
It cost taxpayers 47 billion rubles, or about $1.5 billion. In total, there is a planned nine Yassin submarines to be built. As of December 2021, only three are complete. For example, the K561 Kazan was launched in 2017 and is part of the Yassin M project, which has comparable expenses. But it has more advanced anti-noise equipment and different hull lines. It passed all its tests and was commissioned in 2021. USA Virginia Class Attack Submarines These are improved multi-role submarines that use stealth technology. They are designed to combat submarines underwater and for coastal operations. Despite the Seawolf class, a much more bloodthirsty name, being developed to replace the Los Angeles class that were the main American multi-role nuclear submarines, it was mainly designed to combat Soviet submarines. That, along with its extremely high cost and a change in strategic priorities, led to the U.S. Navy demanding a new, smaller, next-gen attack submarine. The project was given the gentle, female name, Virginia. Now, the ship is designed to combat submarines underwater, as well as conduct operations near coasts. Besides the standard weaponry and equipment, the ship also has unmanned submersibles, an airlock for diving, and a deck attachment for containers or super-small submarines. The ship is about 371 feet long and 33.5 feet wide. Its nuclear power generator is the specially designed water-cooled S9G. It works using fuel rods, whose high energy capacity provide non-stop function for the ship's entire life cycle, which eliminates the need to conduct extremely expensive, labor-intensive, and radiationally dangerous operations in refueling the reactor. This is only done about once every 10 years on modern submarines. It's interesting that the S9G reactor is single-use. It is the first in the world to not require refueling during the ship's entire life cycle, from construction to dismantling. The ship also lacks the traditional periscope. Instead, it has a multifunctional telescopic mast that has a telecamera on it that transmits images through a fiber-optic cable to a monitor in the command center. The ship's hull also has comms antennae and electronic intelligence. An infrared laser is used as a distance measurer. The ship has from 100 to 120 crew members. Unmanned devices are used on board to detect underwater minefields. These devices can be used for up to 18 hours. The Virginia's weapons consist of four torpedo launchers, 26 Mk-48 torpedoes, and 12 launch platforms for Tomahawk-winged missiles. The submarine is capable of submerging to depths of up to 1,640 feet and can move underwater at 38.5 miles per hour. The ship's advantages include its large amount of additional equipment, the lack of a traditional periscope, and its multi-functionality. The SSN-787 Montana submarine cost $2.7 billion and is considered the most advanced submarine in the world. It finished all its testing in 2022 and is the fourth of a planned 10 in four subseries of the fourth generation. In total, 22 Virginia-class submarines have been built since 2004. The British Nuclear Submarine Astute Class The English named their 318-foot submarine fortress simply and modestly Astute. Development began in 1991. The Trafalgar-class submarine was used as a prototype. This resulted in a single-hull, single-shaft design with a bow engine that makes almost no noise while working. The outside of the ship is covered with a noise-dampening covering that includes 39,000 special sheets that absorb sonar signals. Now, compared to previous versions, this submarine is better for working in coastal and even shallow waters. Like all submarines in the Royal Navy, it has a reinforced sea cabin, which lets it break surface even in areas with thick ice.
two optical electronic pronounced CM010 devices are installed instead of a periscope. The sonar system can detect and monitor ships at a distance of 3,000 miles. Additionally, the ship has a special section for special diving divisions that exit to the surface through a hole while the submarine is still underwater. It's possible to carry a dry deck shelter device to deliver divers for special operations as well. It uses a Rolls-Royce PWR-2 nuclear reactor as an energy source that feeds the ship's engines and other systems with a water moderator. Two steam turbines directly couple the spinning moment through the reduction gear. The reactor works for 25 years without refueling. During its entire use, the submarine should be able to make 40 round-the-world trips. It has six torpedo launchers. The Astute can carry 48 torpedoes, mines, or missiles. The torpedo launchers, according to unconfirmed data, also has a classical shape and location in the bow of the ship. Its missiles include the Tomahawk Block 4 winged missiles that can hit targets 750 miles away, and the anti-ship Harpoon missiles. It can reach a depth of 985 feet and moves 33.4 miles per hour underwater. The submarine has a crew of 98 people who can, in an emergency, breathe air produced by an oxygen generator system from seawater. For the first time for the Royal Navy, every crew member has their own cot. This was done to stop the two-on-one practice when two sailors would alternate sleeping on one cot at certain times. In 2020, the Royal Navy commissioned the submarine Audacious after it passed its tests. It cost $1.56 billion and is the fourth out of seven planned Astute class ships. Well, I don't know if this jumped out to you, but there's a lot of big numbers in this video. The billions of dollars people spend on submarines. Okay, so let me know in the comments, what would you rather spend like $1.5 billion on instead of a submarine? Maybe it is a submarine. Anyway, that's all for today. Leave a like too while you're at it, and I'll see you again next time.